I sold this to three horsepower. Have not ever had it going. Just oiled everything up. Got the valves unstuck. They were a bit sticky. Chucked a bit of bloody gear all down the inlet port. Freed everything up. The rack was actually free, which is a bloody bonus. It's a bit sticky. Keep an eye on that before I give her a crank. I've uh, cracked this off. Took the little pinnacle valve thing out of there because it was stuck, so I couldn't bleed it. Um, probably should have showed you that on the video. Pretty handy that because little fuel pumps like that are. Well, I found them like that a few times. Let's crack it off and show you. Just loosen that hose. Pipe. Next one underneath. Right, a little spring under there, obviously. Don't lose it. Now watch this. That little valve in there, check valve is stuck. It was. You get it out with a pair of pliers or something. Sometimes the heat gun's pretty good on it too. That fuel will run. See the fuel's running now, gravity. Get the bastard back in. One end, I'll be alright when I cut one arm off, I'll be used to working with it. Alright, get that back in. She has not had a fire in Christ knows. I got it out of an old piggery. A bloke named John O'Brien, he's dead now. I was talking about him the other day with someone, I thought, shit, I might get that engine going. Got two out of there actually. Sold the other one to an old mate in Melbourne, Mr. Rustin. You know who you are. Actually, got 10 of these listers, so that's why I didn't bother getting this one going till now. Right, how the fuck am I gonna do this? Didn't quite know how to do that with one hand before. Got the crank handle on there. Strange one, it's got sort of a double handed grip on it. Rack's working. It's got full fuel. Won't worry about the decompressor. It's got a bit of compression though. Did wind it over a bit before. Just bounce it a couple of times to get some a bit of noise in the injector. There's more smoke. Not using the decompressor, can't do it. Can't do it with one hand. Oh, there we go. Let's override that governor and make sure it's bloody coming in. There you go, John O'Brien. Thanks for that engine, mate. Pretty bloody good actually. 